So we're here at um, the Celia Griffin Memorial Park here down in South Hill in Galway. In 1847, when Celia had arrived with her family into Galway, she had been very malnourished. She was found, I think, on a street and was taken in by the Presentation Sisters in our convent in Presentation Road. Unfortunately, Celia had been so malnourished that it was unable for the sisters to care for her and she eventually died. Today we bring our students here in remembrance of her in this time in our world history. We remember all children throughout the world who have died of starvation and who will continue to die. And I suppose in this way what we try to do here is to raise the awareness of that so that at some stage these young people will bring that message to the future and hopefully end this period of starvation in our world. So we're delighted to be here. I think it has very rich significance for students in secondary schools because they do recognise the whole depth of what starvation is and what poverty is and what famine is, especially when they see on the television now so many images and so many heartbreaking stories of the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who are fleeing war-torn countries like Syria, Iraq, Ethiopia. The students have great compassion. They do have great understanding. So I think this will bring home to them that Irish girls and Irish children suffered in the famine just as much as the children nowadays are suffering on those ships. In our world today, there are so many people, so many children who are dying of starvation. And we see that with the, the crisis in Syria. And we see that with young children being washed up on beaches. And as the Choctaw stretched out its generosity and its help to the Irish people. We need to do that as well. We need to be a land of welcome. We need to stretch out our hand to people who are in need so that the experience that we've had and our ancestors have had with starvation and with famine, that we will be in some way a healing force in that and that in some little way, you know, we like the Choctaw people who helped us all those years ago will stretch out that hand of friendship and that hand of support. I came here today because AFRI have organised this day and I have huge respect for AFRI. They're one of the only groups that are really speaking out with an independent voice and helping connect the global with the local. And I really love their emphasis on working with young people and empowering young people to think about their own lives, their own communities and the wider world around them. And also particularly the link with Irish heritage and the great hunger and the famine. Um, I love the way they bring that in because it is something that has deeply affected our psyche and I think we need to understand that because it connects to our relationship with power and I think a lot of people don't fully understand the power that we have as citizens and as a community and we surrender too often our power to outside forces. I'm an olive tree actually, I thought that was clear. What's with the, this is the voice your imagination has given me, there's nothing I can do. And where are we? That law be complete. I just did a show here today called The Olive Tree, which I wrote recently. It's all about a talking olive tree in Palestine and I was there recently and the oppression that is happening is just, it's scary. Every aspect of their lives is controlled by the Israeli occupation forces and I wanted to put that into a play and do it in an entertaining way. And I think the kids here liked it today. Um, they were a really lovely audience and I was delighted to be involved in it.